So today we are in Gandia and uh, we're starting the walk in the in this town centre. Uh, you can see behind me the lovely tree-lined area we're in at the moment. Uh, lots of seating and uh, we'll have a walk around. Uh, we'll also go to the beach today and show you that and um, I hope you enjoy the video and if you do please subscribe as always and please ring that bell thank you so we're in September at the moment uh, I think it's the 19th today and uh, it's a beautiful Saturday morning I think we're forecast for 29 degrees which is very nice September is normally a good month to get through the hot August and then into September and uh, that temperature just drops enough to enjoy it you know you're in uh, the 35s etc in August and then into September and it drops to about 29 to 30 degrees which is uh, for me ideal so you can see in front of me there's lots of little bars along here and it's tree lined it's lovely because there's loads and loads of benches to sit on, uh, which people would do, of course. And uh, it's, uh, it's quite relaxing and obviously out of the sun. So it's, uh, it's very pleasant. We've been here before, of course, to various places. Uh, like the Borgia Palace, we went there. The Borgia House they used to live in and uh, so everyone knows about that. There is some history in Gandia. This shopping area is, uh, is quite nice. There's plenty of shops here. All the big names, of course. Lots of bars and restaurants to uh, eat at. But I do like this area, I must admit. This is, uh, this is a very nice area. is uh, an opticians and uh, Borgia opticians and uh, the finish on the walls are incredible look at the walls all the way along from one end right the way through to the other I think that's uh, I think that's incredible and even the pillar they've got this pillar all the way up That's something totally different, isn't it? Excellent.
so the beach is uh, right in front of me now and uh, there seems to be a few on the beach today but we're all uh, see for definite in a minute what's going on it's uh this beach in gandia is uh incredibly wide and very very long uh, in a previous video i did give the figures but uh my memory is not as good as it used to be and uh, but it is very 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 long so I'll have a wander down we got a bar down here call them Cheringuitos the ones that are on the beach And when it's very, very hot, and you don't want to go far for a drink, these places are very handy indeed. They have a, a walkway that goes from one end all the way through to the other and um, I would think that it's a few kilometers for sure you know it's a, it's a fair old distance and also which is parallel to it they have a bicycle track as well going both ways so you can ride your bike all the way along this is a, a cracking hotel here it's a four-star hotel and uh, <clears throat> and very nice it looks as well not quite sure the cost staying there but it won't be cheap I don't think but it looks a, a cracking hotel and basically you come out the gate and you walk straight across the street and you're on the beach so that's a great benefit but along here there are quite a few um, hotels also obviously private flats but a lot of um, self catering places as well so there's uh, there's plenty of places to stay in Gandia and if you're coming if you're flying in to come here to stay for a period of time for a week or whatever then both airports I suppose really Valencia is closer for this one uh, Alicante is a bit further on so if you're going to come in if you can fly into Valencia then that will be the place to come It'd be a lot easier but uh, I love the beach here it's so clean they really do look after the beaches and uh, there's a great sign coming up which you're just about to see it says Gandia, which I think is magic. I think that really is great. <laughs> 